Okay, so this segment is the hardest one to demonstrate because I don't have a short uh, haircut like men typically wear cut up around the ear. But I'm just gonna demonstrate the best I can because this is what usually makes men crazy is when their hair is hanging over their ears and also their neck. So if I were to cut this hair here, and I'm only showing you a little bit just so it's easier to see, and I'm not gonna actually cut, but I would cut here, and you might need somebody else to help you do this, okay? So hopefully you have a spouse or somebody that you trust that lives with you. Cut here and cut around here to match it, just to get all the hair around the ear. Um, you know, you can bend the ear forward and try to cut some of this. Ugh. Cutting back here, you know, it can get a little tricky because, you know, you can't see what you're doing if you have a spouse or somebody help you. The problem is if you cut back here and it's not layered, which you should not try to do, um, I don't know. It might be almost better just to let the back be a little bit longer and just cut around the ears. But, you know, that's obviously up to you to figure out, okay? Um, same thing applies in the other video about cutting the front. For any of you guys, if your hair tends to fall forward, and I have a product I want to show you that will really help with that. Other thing that makes men's hair look really, really sloppy is two related things that require clippers. So this is a wall peanut clipper. I love this one. It's a corded clipper, obviously. The cordless ones I used to use years ago, I just like the corded ones better. Um, and I can see if I can get you one of these if you can't find them. They're not cheap, but they're really good and they last for years and years. Um, they're probably around 50 or $60. Um, but anyway, you, so for the sideburns, and I'm turning it on, but I'm not gonna actually clip with it. So you're basically just going to, for the sideburns, do this. Now most guys would know how to do that, but you'd be surprised how many men in between haircuts will let their sideburns go down. You could also take these same clippers instead of the scissors and do around the ear. So right here behind the sideburn, right in this area, and you can pull your ear down and actually cut the hair around here with the clippers if you don't have scissors that you think will do the job. The other thing these are gonna be great for, for my guys, is the neckline. So the clippers along here, and I would strongly suggest you either A, have somebody else help you with it, or and or um, hold the hair up before you clip it, okay? To do all of that. So that's, sorry about that. <laughs> so that's, that's a way to clean up the neck, okay? So then the other thing I wanted to show you is this product, which a lot of my clients with short hair, men and women, use it and love it, Bedhead Manipulator, okay? Um, I am glad to bring this to you. This is $18. It will last you a really long time. You only need a tiny little bit. I don't know why this inner lid is on here. Anyway, you only need a little bit, like that, and you just put it on. It almost doesn't even look like there's anything on your hands. And you run it through your hair, and it gives hold. And for guys, it's great it, um, because a lot of guys don't like to use hairspray or product. It gives the hair a little hold without feeling stiff like hairspray, and it might help get you through with having your hair long. A lot of my clients use it even when the hair is not long just to have their hair hold back. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Let me know if you need me to help you get a set of the wall peanut clippers or if you want me to drop off the bedhead manipulator at your house. I'm glad to help you with either one of those. Okay.